Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to world-renowned, famous... Carrie... Yeah, oh. Benson! I stole your thunder. That's all right. You know, he's the announcer for the Tulsa Shock, That's the okay. WNBA. Hey, really? That's right. Mm-hmm. So he was going to give you that, that kind of an intro. That's okay. And I, bl- I blew it. <laughs> no redos. It's live. <laughs> Speaking of, I have a question for you. Um, on camera, what's the, like... The worst thing you think that somebody's caught you doing? Um, I think the worst thing is probably going to the bathroom and forgetting oh, to turn off, I... you know, and, and oh. they actually power you down when they know you're heading that way, but oh. it's just you get that comfortable <laughs> mm-hmm. that um, you think, okay, I I'll be right to. back. <laughs> <laughs> You're so like, you did that? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Just like that movie. What mm. was it? Was um, that movie? Ron Burgundy, right? No. Liam Neeson? Uh, What's the movie I'm thinking no. about? Was it Airplane? No, Will Ferrell did it, didn't he? Oh, I'm sure he's done it. He's yeah, done it. I don't do Will Ferrell. <laughs> 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 Nor do I do Billy Crystal. Um, All of those people, those comedians, I don't even think. Oh, they those comedians. They are not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with the speaker when I heard her say Will Ferrell wasn't funny because she's absolutely right. He's an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I mean, really, nobody ever says that. They're like, oh, he's so funny. He's so dumb. It's so he's forced. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies. Don't like forced humor. Um, it's got to oh. be spontaneous. Oh, it, yeah, it's completely forced. All right, if you want a new perspective of Will Ferrell, YouTube he and Jim Caviezel having an interview. It's hilarious. Oh. You will laugh. I will. I don't know. <laughs> try it. I will. <laughs> I'm try, try it. Not try me. Okay. <laughs> I will tell you, but the, the other thing she said is that people can't babysit you. Do your own checking. Hello. Wow. <laughs> what an innovative theory. <laughs> so I'm. T- t- like it needs to be on the radio. I hit two home runs this morning. <laughs> well, ironically, you can actually see her on the Food Network. It's Carrie Vincent. Oh well. Yes. Okay. Listen. I, that's not. That's how wicked I am. I'm not even knowing. Who I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not known for sugar coating, actually. No, uh, no even kidding. though that's all she deals with is sugar. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Don. Thanks, Don. Don. Mix that he says. Have a great day, Dawn. Gary Vincent, a friend of the show. Yeah, you're on with her. What do you want to say? I love the Food Network show. You're great. Oh, do you? You love Challenge? Yes. What do you think of Last Cake Standing? It's great. Isn't I like it? Challenge. And there's yeah. another one you're doing now? Yeah, I'm also doing The Best Thing I Ever Ate. So those new episodes will be coming up soon in May. Oh. Hi, yeah. Thank you. Did yeah. you know she lives right in our town? I did. I think that's great. It's very exciting. Cool. Well, it's always amusing when I'm coming or going from the airport and people rush up to me and thank me for coming to Tulsa. And it's like, I'm sorry, I live here. I live among you. <laughs> right. well, what is your name? I am Pam. Hey, thanks so much for calling today. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, nice What's going on, yo? Russ, Russ the, the Redneck. redneck. What's up, Russ? Well, I guarantee told you, I'm going to get me a show on that Food Network. <laughs> You're starting early in the day. You want oh, my job? I'll, I'll cook beside you, buddy. <laughs> Do you watch? Oh, yeah, I, I guarantee you. Mine's going to be Redneck Recipes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you make, I mean, Russ? Okay. Frog legs don't taste like chicken. They more taste like possum. All uh, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> really redneck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dessert girl. What for dessert? Jalapeno jelly and cream cheese. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like a dip to me. Oh, Russ the Redneck, everybody. Thanks for calling. (laughs) Woo! Y'all have a good one. I want to tell Carrie I really like her show. And if she's ever tasted anything that she's really wanted to spit out. (laughs) Um, Yeah, as a matter of fact, on my surprise birthday, um, the competition they had for challenge, the cake wreck happened with Stevie. Uh, She baked her cakes in uh, turkey bakers. I have never seen anything so disgusting in my life. And because it was my surprise birthday, I decided that I would go ahead and eat the tiniest little bit. It was about as big as my fingernail. Patrick Coston, who is my judge uh, colleague, he refused to eat it because it looked like a pig pen in a kitchen. And my husband was polite. And uh, and I actually did write her a thank you letter for actually making the cake. But I never want to have to do that again. It was revolting. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, whole birthday out of all the times. I know. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. But I do enjoy your show. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Much. You're welcome. I'm Glad to watch Challenge. And you can see her when we go to Baker Street Pub and Grill.
for the royal wedding. That's April like uh, two weeks away, right, from today. You're going to be hanging out with us. Yeah, we're going pubbing. <laughs> just like it would be if we were in England. At five in the morning. Mm. Very early in the morning. <laughs> five <laughs> to ten. Morning Find out how to come to the royal wedding party with us. Just go to Mix96Tulsa.com. But Carrie has met the queen. Yeah, how, tell I us did. a story. Actually, when I was a little girl at school, uh, the queen used to go on tours when she was um, first, when she was first crowned a lot and visit schools. And so she came to my school and um, I'm not going to say that I met, met her, but I certainly was there and I was able to curtsy and do my little thing. Oh. And I think it's kind of had a, cool. uh, a lifetime effect. I'm a royalist, um, you know, died in the wall. There's no, no two ways about it. And so... I love things royal. Mm -hmm. I go to England lots, and I do go to Buckingham Palace, and there's a lot of people who say get rid of the royals, but oh. what would happen if American tourists went to London and the royals weren't there? They wouldn't have anything to do. Thank so, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you must feel at home in our purple room. I do. It's, it's very, royal. very royal and very <laughs> regal, and I think it's getting us in the feeling of sense of what we're going to do on the 29th when we go pubbing together and watch <laughs> what's going to happen on the day and uh, watch the proceedings. It's a red carpet unfold. event. You got to come out and join us there. Big at time. Baker Street Pub. See yeah. Carrie Vincent, and it'll be lots of fun. Find I'll out more. I'll even wear a hat. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see which one. Someone's on the line. You said you have a question about your meatloaf. I have cooked this in a loaf pan, like you do banana bread. I cooked it on a sheet pan. I've cooked it in a casserole dish, um, but it seems like in the center it's always not done to perfection. Any ideas on how I can get the middle done? A meatloaf? Uh, on a meatloaf. Good God. Um, I think that you probably, if you're, what temperature are you cooking it at? Probably 375, 420. Too high. Too, Too high. high. Yeah. Cook it around about 350. And longer, slower, and it'll get to the middle. Okay. Which, yeah. which, which pan would be, the, would be the best one to use? A, a, a loaf pan is probably the best, yeah. Okay. Just a regular uh, pound cake pan. You're just too hot for your own loaf, man. That doesn't sound right. I'm not even coming. <laughs> Y'all have a great Friday. Thanks for calling yeah. Kelly Vincent. You're welcome. Uh, Mix 96. Did you know you were a meatloaf expert? <laughs> well, the good news is I do know, but um, the, you didn't bring us cake. Oh. No, too short a warning for coming. I only found out a couple of days ago. <laughs> in the middle of, middle of a cake for publication, so he had to take priority. <laughs> Is cake like wine? You can have like a certain cake with your meal, like you have your a certain wine with a meal. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, actually, um, light Madeira wines, sherries and so forth are standard fare to eat with cake. But okay. it's actually... High tea is one of the best things to do with cake and, um, <laughs> and have a really good, well-flavoured tea. No tea bags, no dust in the bags. You need tea leaves and steam them properly and infuse them. And then you eat your cake. And I'll tell you what, you really enjoy it. She even afternoon. does tea. I do do tea. <laughs> this in is fact, ridiculous. I did high tea for... Uh, the best thing I ever ate at the Adolphus Hotel in Dallas, which was really lovely. Finger food, they call it. Having fun talking about food. Although not cake and sugar like she'd like. Yeah. <laughs> the ice cream that's coming in here at the moment. Yeah, Bluebell just brought us a whole bunch of delicious, tasty. What, and, what flavor is that? That is homemade in the shade. Mm, Looking good. And you had a question for Carrie? Well, I wanted to ask her if she knows of any toaster oven recipes that I could uh, give my grandmother because you know, her, her oven broke and she's old and she refuses to go buy a new one because she has a toaster oven. Toaster oven recipes. Wow. Well, um, toaster oven recipes I'm not really uh, high on because they don't really cook as well as what a regular oven does. And if she's trying to bake a cake, it's probably going to be really bad. Yeah, she's made a few and they haven't turned out very well. She tried to make bread and it hasn't oh, turned out either. Absolutely fatal. No way that she bread can... Bread in a yeah, toaster no. oven. The only thing a toaster oven is good for is toast. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't take a food expert to figure that out, right? No. I, no recipes for you. There's not enough height and the, the oven's not sealed. So oh, okay. your big problem is that when uh, there are all sorts of promises, but basically if you want to bake, get an oven. <laughs> What's so your name? So you need to talk her into getting an oven. I okay. think you need to, even if it's a little one, but it's obviously a sealed proper oven. I think that would be best for her. Okay, so we're thanks. Carrie. Thanks Woo! for being with us today. Yeah, from Tulsa. It's so here. much fun. She lives among us.
I do. As she said. <laughs> so, Make sure uh, you check out Last Cake Standing. I'm going to actually show. watch it Sunday night. Good. And it's on at what time? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Food Network. Or Check come it out. see her in person April 29th at the Baker Street Pub and Grill with us for the Royal Wedding. Find out more about it at Mix96Tulsa.com. Carrie's our ace in the hole. Okay, so be there. I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to wear a hat. So I want everybody to come and wear a hat. Be you royal love her hats, on the day. Right? It's fabulous. Everybody in England wants to put something on their head. Australians love putting things on their head. So... Come and enjoy the day and be a part of it. I Thank think it's you. going to be a fun thing. We'll see you very soon. Two weeks from today is the Royal Wedding, and we'll be there with you in Tulsa's new Mix 96. Bye, Karen. Thank you.